Hi everyone and welcome to my spring home tour. I am so excited to show you around and share some of my favorite decor and design ideas for the spring season. I hope today's video gives you lots of decorating ideas and leaves you full of inspiration. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. I'm going to start today's home tour right here on the front porch and this is a video that I recently did and I had a lot of fun. I created this beautiful wreath to go on my front door using beautiful spring colors of soft pinks, yellows, and a tiny little pop of lavender and this turned out beautifully. It was so easy to make and I do have a video on that so I will link it up here so you can click on it. to make this entrance really welcoming with a tad bit of character so I thought that adding some lanterns a layered doormat and a planter right here in the entrance would do just the trick and I love how it turned out I found the lanterns at Hobby Lobby a few years ago and those super cute bunnies I purchased at Ross a few years ago as well as these two mats a few years ago but I did find the top one I believe it was Ross or Marshall's and that black and white bottom mat was found at Target Adding some super cozy pillows to this bench definitely made it so much more inviting. I found those velvet pillow covers at H&M and I will have them linked in my description box. The bunny pillow I found at Home Goods. Here in the entryway, I really wanted to keep with that soft yet pretty theme of florals. So I added a beautiful wreath and I found this wreath at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and it was actually in the fall clearance aisle. But I think it looks beautifully for spring and it matches with everything that I got going on here. I found these sconces at Lowe's several years ago and they were on clearance for $15 a piece. I went ahead and added them to my wall here and then instead of hooking it up to the electrical wiring, I added some battery operated candlesticks.
I've really wanted to add some texture and color over here to my mantle and I did just that using some layers of florals and greenery. I did use a green garland that had some white florals on it and then for a pop of color I just added some florals that I had already. I added some bright pops of pink with subtle pieces of greenery with little tiny lavender flowers. Adding these two super cute ceramic bunnies definitely gives it a spring look. And I did find those bunnies at Home Goods. I found this floral print on Etsy a while ago and I love how it looks so much. I don't want to switch it out. I usually do like a mirror or a really pretty floral wreath and I love switching things out on my mantle area, but for some reason I love this print so much I have not been able to get rid of it. What I did was I just took it to Hobby Lobby, I had them mat it, and then I purchased a frame to fit, and it looks so pretty. If I could find the print on Etsy, I will leave a link down in my description box. I also always get asked about this fireplace screen. It is so pretty. I found it at Hobby Lobby, and I did paint it white. Here on my sofa I wanted to keep it very neutral and comfortable so I went with some neutral pillows and a white throw. I found those larger sized pillows online and I will link everything in my description box. However this bunny pillow I found at Home Goods, so I can't link it but I will link the covers for the others. I love the subtle hints of spring that I brought into this hutch over here with this adorable bunny plate holding this bird cage with some eggs. And then up top I have a floral planter with some very soft colors of spring. And I put this together very simply and it just looks really pretty. I also love these little cloches that I have up here with teacups. And then I just added some tiny pieces of greenery to give it that spring look.
now I'm going to take you into the kitchen and what I love most about spring is all the florals that start blooming. I have a beautiful rose bush and a lilac bush in my backyard and both of these are so fragrant and I decided to pick some and put them in a vase and place them on my kitchen table and it just makes the entire kitchen smell amazing. I love adding my own touch to things and I like to take things out of the original packaging and place them into something that's just more aesthetically pleasing to the eye so I can place them on my countertops. So I found this really pretty um, apothecary jar that I've had forever and I thought it would look really pretty if I put my dishwasher taps in there. And then over here to the right I have my hand soap dispenser and my dish soap dispenser. And I also place these in different containers and I just think it looks so much prettier placed on your countertop and everything just flows beautifully. And I will have a link for my hand soap and dish soap bottles as well as the labels in my description box. I really wanted to add a little color to this wall, so I decided to go with a cutting board and a lavender wreath, and I found both of these at Hobby Lobby. I love these canisters that I found at Kirkland's a few years ago, and I do believe they still have them. I dressed them up just a little bit with my own labels using my Cricut machine and then for the measuring cups I went ahead and just placed some milk glass teacups in there. I really wanted to pull some of those bright pink colors from my mantle into my kitchen without overdoing it and I felt like adding this wreath above my stovetop would be perfect. I made this wreath and I do have a video on it and I'm going to go ahead and link it as a card up here so you can click on it and watch it. It was so easy to make and I just love it and it really brings some life in here for the spring season.
now we're going to head on upstairs and I'm going to share my master bedroom and bathroom with you and how I have it decorated for spring. I have a lot of fun switching out my bedding and normally I have a white duvet cover but for spring I wanted some color so I decided to switch it out and use this pink floral duvet cover and I did find this at Target a few years ago unfortunately they discontinued the Simply Shabby Chic line and that is the brand of this duvet cover. You can find it on eBay sometimes but unfortunately the prices are like double but just in case you're wondering where I found it, I found it at Target and it was several years ago, but it is from the Simply Shabby Chic line. I found these florals and vase at Marshall's and they were two bunches and the vase was separate and I thought these would look beautifully with my bedroom decor and they do have a real look to them which I absolutely love and then going with that pink I just have a rose scented candle here and then I have my diffuser going with a jasmine scented essential oil and the two scents together is making my bedroom smell so good. Here in the master bathroom, I don't really have a lot of spring decor in here, but I love to unwind in my bathtub at the end of the day and just relax. And I wanted to share my decor in here with you. If you are looking for ways to decorate your bathroom, if you're remodeling your bathroom or any of that kind of stuff, I don't share a lot of this space with you guys. So here in this home tour, I just wanted to share how everything looks in this space. I will also be leaving links to my lighting and everything else that I possibly can here in this space. So if you see something that I don't mention, please go ahead and check my description box or you can ask me down in the comments below.
And now I'm going to head on outside and share my backyard oasis with you guys. And I just recently did a makeover in this area and I will leave a card linked if you want to watch that video. The sectional that I have here by my fire pit, I found it online and I've had it for a few years now and it has held up amazingly. So I highly recommend it and I will leave a link for that in my description box. I found these pillow covers that match perfectly with the theme that I was going for, adding a little more texture and color back here. I made the floral blue and white pillow covers and then I found the others online and again I will leave everything linked. A hammock is definitely a must when the weather starts to warm up and you can just sit back here and relax. And I found that hammock online. And then I have another little seating area over here and I found the sectional at Lowe's. And then I just added a little end table over here in the center and I did find that online. And then just adding a few throw pillows to make it extra comfortable. I love this patio set that I found last season at Walmart and I will have it linked. It is definitely my favorite space to sit and drink my coffee in the mornings and everything is just so relaxing and inviting out here and I am loving that the weather is finally starting to warm up so I can enjoy my backyard again. Well, that is it for my spring home tour. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments down below and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.